So now you'll see that I am still in the personal settings area, but I've moved from meeting over to recording. There are a ton of settings in Zoom and don't feel like you have to understand all of them, but let me zip through some of the ones that happen under the recording tab. Local recording, you're allowing hosts and participants to record the meeting in a local file. So by checking this, you're saying that hosts give participants the permission to record locally. I have this on because my participants are you. So if for some reason you want to be able to record it and refer to it later, you can. But I would generally uncheck this or shut it off over here for your students. Down here is the cloud recording. Right now, because you still have basic accounts for a couple more weeks, your cloud recording doesn't really work. But as soon as you have it, this will becoming more this will become more important to you. So allowing hosts to record and save the meeting in the cloud. I have that turned on because I'm a host. I believe it will look the same for you. And then you're trying to decide what way you want it recorded. Do you want to record just the active speaker with their shared screen or record the gallery? The gallery is the Brady Bunch view with shared screen or the active speaker, the gallery view and the shared screen all separately or record an audio file only. I've been using the gallery view with the shared screen. I believe it takes in the most. And then you can decide if you also want to save the chat messages from the meeting. It'll save in a separate file, like a text file. I like it because it allows me to go back in and kind of double check my attendance. And then there's advanced cloud recording settings that I will go into and more settings that I'll go into in the next Zoom class.